Hi, I'm Jen Davis. I work in the School of Healthcare Sciences at Cardiff University. Myself and my colleague Mohamed Al Amri have made this video to show you how we're using our MoTeC Grail system. We use our Grail system for research. In the recent past, we've used this to study the biomechanics of walking and the effect of real-time feedback on these biomechanics. We've also used this to study road crossing. We use the self-paced mode of the Grail system to study the walking patterns of individuals who have traumatic brain injuries and look at their walking patterns during road crossing to understand response to a real world outdoor activity. The aim of this work is to develop a safe and usable way of assessing road crossing and self-awareness of performance using the Grail system. We've also used the Grail system to look at the effect of different walking conditions such as uphill walking as you can see here on movement kinetics and kinematics. We're now taking it in a new, really exciting direction that will be completely unique across the world. Over the past few years, we've been working with an industry partner, MagStim, and the Cardiff University Brain Research Imaging Centre, known as Kubrick, to develop a system to deliver brain stimulation during walking. This is the system in an early stage of development, being trialled with a basic commercial treadmill over in the brain imaging laboratories. The stimulation is called transcranial magnetic stimulation and is delivered through a coil that you can see placed over my head in this video. This type of stimulation can be used to probe the cortex and for example how the cortex is involved in movements. But the problem is that the coil is heavy and it needs to be kept in a very precise location. There are just two or three places in the world that are developing a solution to enable this type of stimulation to be formed during walking and we're one of those places. But what's really exciting and is done nowhere else in the world is bringing this capability into a system such as Grail. And that's what you can see that we're doing here at Cardiff right now. Here's our system integrated into our MoTeC setup. The weight of the coils supported by spring balance coils and the positions maintained by a helmet. Here you can see me walking in the Grail system. So what are we going to be using this for? This system will allow us to look at how the cortex is involved in different activities. For example, how it's involved in generating muscle activity during movements. But by putting this system within the grail with all the power and capabilities that come with that, that gives us a unique ability to probe so many questions. How does the involvement change in different situations? Like when you're walking downhill, for example, as you can see here, or does it change when people walk in different virtual settings? Or when they have to do a dual tasking, two things at once, as you can see here with this troop task. We're using the real-time processing capabilities of DFLOW to trigger the stimulation at precise points of the gait cycle relative to heel strike. So we can look at the modulation of cortical control. We hope you found this interesting. We're excited about the work we'll be able to do by combining the MoTeC Grail system with transcranial magnetic stimulation. And we would welcome your thoughts or comments from anyone who has an interest in this work.